Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use a DICOM modality worklist. I will be going through two things. So one is how to populate entries into the DICOM for G VNAs DICOM modality worklist by sending uh, RIS uh, order messages to it. And the other thing is how to use the DVTK DICOM modality emulator uh, to read the modality work list and then to send a study to the Dicom 4G VNA with that modality emulator. If you haven't already installed the Dicom 4G VNA, I'll leave a link up there so that you can uh, check the video about installing the Dicom 4G archive. I'll also leave a link to this uh, article on my uh, web page which uh, explains the steps. So there is some documentation about the modality worklist on the Darkovich uh, GitHub wiki pages. You can find the link to it here. Um, but we don't need to go through that now since I will show you how it is used. So the first thing which we need to do is send an HL7 order message to the Darko 4 g modality worklist. So in the Darko 4 g admin UI, uh, we have the patients, studies, uh, and then there is a section called MVL. That's the modality worklist. Under here, we, we can choose the Darko 4 g uh, AI title, and then we can do a query, and we can see that there is no content in here yet. So the first thing which we need to do is to send the order message and we need to have a tool to to send that order message and we will be using the happy test panel for it. Um, you can find the link to the page where you can find the installer. So I used the download here and then installed it on, on this machine. So in happy test panel we need to create a connection first and for that connection oh yeah this needs uh, Java installed so uh, just uh, install that first before you can install the happy test panel or before you can run the happy test panel. So now we will be setting the host the host for for the uh, HL7 messages is the Daiko for g um, Ubuntu server I'm running and then we need to get the port. So the port we can find under configuration and HL7 applications. Uh, we can see it's listening on local host on port 2575. So let's use that port and uh, we can save this connection as dicom for g mvl next we need to insert the message so well okay we can use kind of anything as the template and then just replace it let's go to grab this message here i found this message uh, in the Darkroom for Chi forum and then or in the Google groups and, and I modified it a bit so that uh, it, it seems to be working. So let's grab this message, paste it in here in the happy test panel. Now we have this ORM message here and yeah, you know, I guess we need to start this connection. It says it's successfully connected. And then we can go to this ORM message and press on send. And we can see that this is the outgoing message and this is the response. Uh, it says in the MSA segment AA, which is an acknowledge message. So this seems to have gone through. Now we can go to the Dicom 4 g UI into the navigation section and back to the MVL uh, query UI. And here we can see that 
now we have Martin King, uh, which was the patient name here. Uh, it exists in the modality worklist. And we can also see the parameters here. I didn't pay much attention to the procedure IDs and, and so on. They are just um, kind of placeholders. So now we have a modality worklist entry here, which we can query. So let's use the modality emulator to do that. So in order to download the modality emulator, you can go to this link here. Unfortunately, the DVTK modality emulator doesn't seem to be currently available on the DVTK org website where the other applications are, but you can find the source code on, on GitHub and the installer here. So I, I just uh, use the installer to install it and it launches into this view. Then you can go into file and configure system and configure emulator to get all of these other tabs visible. And Okay, so the modality emulator is in this diagram, we have the modality, it's in this role, and the risk system would be the one which is providing the work list. So we need to go under configure remote system and the risk system is actually the, the modality work list. Now in this case, it's not the risk, but it's the kind of VNA providing this endpoint, but we can go and grab the, the AI information from here. So we're going to use this icon for G, AI title. And uh, it says, okay, I need to stop the emulator to configure it. Uh, so the IP address is this one here, which the Dicon for g one of the work list is running on. And then we need remote port. We can get that from, from here. It's, it's this one. And now we need to Well, we can ping the, the system, it's successful. We can do a DICOM echo, which saying the DICOM echo failed. I had an issue with the DICOM echo on the modality emulator. It was giving this error in the activity log here. So this is problem with the DICOM definition files. Uh, by reading uh, some of the source code, I was able to find out that the definition files uh, also need to be in the, in the modality emulators installation folder in a, a subdirectory called definitions. So I created this definitions folder and copied all of these uh, definition files in here. The DVTK definition files installer places the definition files uh, in this path and uh, it seems that the modality emulator needs to have modality emulator needs to have the files also in this in that other path uh, in the source code I was able to see that there is an environment variable uh, common program files and the path is, is formulated like this. And on my machine, this was pointing to C program files instead of program files x82. So what I did is I went ahead and, and copied the definition files also under this program files, common files, dvtk definition files, dicom.
So after doing this uh, and restarting the mod modality emulator, now the Daikom Echo is working. So what I also did is <clears throat> I pointed the the PAX workstation configuration to the same Daikon for G archive uh, as you can see here and also the storage commit I pointed that to, also to the Daikon for G archive so now the RIS which is the work list which is available on the Daikon for G is pointing pointing to the Daikon for, for, for G server as is the PAX part these are the, the important ones so now we can go ahead and uh, use the request work list functionality here. And uh, we can find this king. Well, let's do that again. We can find the King Martin entry, which we previously sent via happy test panel into the Daikon for G modality work list. And uh, yeah, we can select it by, by clicking. When you click on it, it disappears, but it did take those values. And now I don't yet have this um, King Martin patient in here in the Daikon for G archive. So what we can do is um, I can still Daikon echo the PAX part. So this is again the Daikon for G archive in our configuration. Then we can press on store image and it should now send the image with that, with the values from, from the modality work list. So there's a configuration here which uh, determines which uh, study it used but let's see in the activity log so we can see that there is a C store response and uh, it was using these okay it's, it's using the definition files here but anyhow it was able to send some content to the Daikon for GRK. Let's refresh the view here. And now we can see Martin King as a patient in here with um, one study and it has uh, two series in it. The other one has two images. And the other one has three images. And we can still check what that content looks like. It's a secondary capture. Most likely it's just just a, a, a gray image but anyhow this is the way you can send content using the modality emulator if we want to send some different DICOM content then we can go into this uh, configuration here and under image storage we can see that currently it has um, some DICOM files under acquisition modality in here. So this is the path. So if, if you go into this location, we can uh, drop some different DICOM files in here. Oh, it seems these don't have the file name. Let's just add .dicom. Let's just restart the modality emulator to make them visible. Okay, now we have the Daikon files visible here. 
Um, we could maybe let's let's delete this study so that we have a kind of fresh start. So we can go to here to reject the study. Uh, let's say. Yeah, we can say retention expired, then reject. It's saying um, study queued for rejection successfully, count five. So that was um, two plus three images. As we see here, it's five images in total. Uh, then we still need to use the more functions and permanent delete and uh, delete instances with retention expired. Yeah, we want to also delete the rejection nodes, so let's say delete all. And it says six instances deleted successfully. Six because it was five images plus one rejection node. And now this Martin King study is gone. So then we can go ahead and try this again and let's see if we get this different content stored. Request work list, let's select again King Martin and then store image, send images to that comfort cheese successfully. And then let's refresh. Now we have Martin King here with three series and these are the secondary capture ones, two of those, then this most likely, yeah, this is the three other secondary capture images. It's just minimize those to save some space and this third one should be the added DICOM files let's check yeah so that is how you can send your own DICOM content to the Daikon for G archive using the modality emulator and using the uh, Daikon modality worklist. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future content as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.